Hey everybody, welcome back to another pop-up blue box sale. And I actually have some interesting new pieces to show you guys. And then I wanted to go over some of the pieces that didn't sell last time. So from the last sale I had, I still have these, these crowns. These are jeweled, they have baguettes, rhinestones. And they are for pierced ears. These are 12. And then this one, I didn't realize in the last video. I guess I was just so um, starstruck with it. There is a missing... To be honest, I, I just thought it was part of the aesthetic. There is a missing flower right there. So I did pay $8 for this. And I'm willing to sell it for 12 if anybody's, I mean, it's still a good buy. They could put whatever they want on that side. Um, I was going to possibly put a flower there. I just don't have the time, to be honest. And this is a Zara. Um, so I think it's a really good deal. You could put, you know, some, some rhinestones to emulate a flower or another flower on there. And that's it. Call it a day. So that one's 12 um this one i still have available this one was uh 12 as well and she's just this beautiful victorian style she's modern but this beautiful victorian style um red glass stones with a gold wash, an antique gold wash. She's fabulous. So I still have her. And she is 12. Okay, so jumping on to the new stuff. I got these clip-on earrings. And these have the AB. Right there. I think these are great. Um, let me see. I don't think there's a maker's mark on them. I'm not, and I don't know, um, what brand those cuts are. They're in very, very good condition. And if anybody wants them, you could have, oops, you could have these clip-ons for eight, eight dollars. Um, this one I upaid for, this Spidey with the ABs. It reminds me of like a Marcus site. It is not signed. I paid 11 for her. So if anybody wants a spider, um, she'll be 15. And it's great for um, maybe some of you guys are like, ew, a spider. Who wants a spider? She's fabulous around the holidays, like Halloween time, over like maybe a black scarf or a black turtleneck. I mean, that would look, that would look so hot. <laughs> it would look very, very sharp. Oh, you know, before I get into this. Okay, so then I have these clip-on earrings, these jeweled clip-on earrings. And these are great. They are not marked. And these are six. Aren't these fantastic? Mm-hmm. And then look at these chunkaronis. These are kind of like flower. They could be like maybe flowers or maybe possibly um, a grapevine. These have some age. What did I pay for these now? Okay, so if anybody wants these, she will be six. I think she's fantastic. And they are clip-ons. And if anybody has pierced ears, you could wear clip-ons over the, um, you know, your holes. Oh, this didn't sell last time. I wanted 15. This is Tiger's Eye. It will most likely kind of sit a little bit longer than a choker. Oh, she just feels so good. She feels like butter. And she has um, many little tiger eyes stationed in between the bigger ones. And she has 15. 
if anybody so if anybody's interested please in the email give me a timestamp or screenshot it's actually easiest if you screenshot it and then attach it to the email so i know exactly what you're talking about but um you know e either way that'll do um okay so moving on let's see here i have a few more pieces um this one right here is chico's And I like this because I've never seen one like this. It has multiple strands. And I think she just kind of emulates like a Victorian style. And she is adjustable. <clears throat> so. Let's look at her. She has about. Ooh. A good three and three to four inches of, you know, of adjustable length. How come this isn't focusing? There we go. I like this. I've never seen a Chico necklace just look exactly like this. So let's give you the length. So I can measure. Okay, so she's going to come, and then you still have an additional three to four inches. The tightest she will come is right there, ten and a half. But if you want her longer, you're going to get an addition. You'll get all this length you're going to get. This is about, oh, let me measure it. I think it's three inches. No, it's actually longer than that. She is four. She's four. So ten and a half. Plus the four, ten and a half to fourteen and a half. The tightest is ten and a half. That's actually a nice, um, an, um, a nice uh, inch difference, you know, for you to play with. I like when they're long like this because what if you just wanted at a, you know, this look at a certain length on your past your collarbone, above your collarbone, you know. So this is Chico's, and she is twenty five. Okay, so let's move on to this sensational KJL piece. Let me measure her. She is, um, she's about 11 and a half, 11 and a half. And she could go tighter because she has these these um, extender links. She does have the 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 tag that says KJL. KJL was a is a huge um, fashion stylist. I think he was bigger like in the eighties. Well, he's well, his stuff was has been around. Let's just put it to you that way. So, um, I do have one of his infamous um, book pieces elephant brooches and that one right now goes anywhere between 500 to 1500 and I still have it sitting in my um, actually let me grab it because I know a lot of the new subscribers have not seen it So I got this without realizing who KJL was and I absolutely flipped my head when I seen the value. She is a book piece. Initially when I had got her, she was missing I think this cabochon and I had to replace it at, at a jeweler. And so all the stones are there. And right now she's on my eBay store for like $4.99. I had her higher, but I dropped her. So I've seen her sell anywhere between... Well, I don't know if you're familiar with that website, First Dibs. They've sold her for like 1500 
And then so I just went high. I had her for a thousand, but I didn't get no bites at all. And then I seen her sell for like a couple hundred dollars. So, I mean, she, you know, it's just there's such a, a large price range of where she sells. But right now she's at uh, 500 in my eBay store. And if she doesn't sell, she's just sitting in my curio with all my other fabulous brooches. This is one of a kind. It is, and um, it's a book piece. It came out in a design. I don't know if it's specifically KJL or uh, KJL is Kenneth J. Lane. And um, I don't know if it's just, I forgot the book. I have it listed in my eBay of what it is. Anyways, back to this necklace. So there are similar necklaces like this but it doesn't have this extra chain so I there's I haven't seen one on eBay like her I've seen this and this is stone um she feels like stone I I'm thinking it's lapis that's the only thing I could think of she feels very very nice like butter oh my god she's she's fantastic Fabulous, fabulous. So, um, I do have her price really high on my eBay store, but for you guys, um, if you're interested, I can let her go for 25 And I'm trying to get the full picture without, let me see her. I have, I have junk in the background of my, okay, here we go. There we go. There. So... Um, yeah, don't pay attention to that mess over there. It's all my, like, technical stuff. So, um, let's see. This is what the back looks like. And she could go tighter, and she has the tag. So, yeah, 25 if anybody's interested. Which is a really, really good deal. Very, very good deal. I, I don't, I know I paid close to, to that amount. I, I just, I remember it was, I paid up for her. Um, then I got this and I just thought, oh, I just like this right here. It's glass. It reminds me of like retro, funky, vintage. And if nobody likes these seed bead, um, uh, strands, they could change it out. But I think it's so cool. So if anybody wants her, let me see. You guys can have her for um, $6. $6. Yeah. I think she's just so cool. Look at that. And it's glass. Okay. Um, on to the next fabulous, fabulous necklace. Okay. So I have paid on this one as well. This one is Zara. I'm not partial to the fabric. The fabric. Oh God, she just unhooked right here. Let's see her. Um, I could fix that. Let me see her. Um, I want to make sure. Hold on one second. I want to make sure she's going on the right class. Okay, she just needed to be a little um, hooked back in. Okay, so I'm not, like I said, I don't care for this fabric, but this is in really good condition. It's not dirty. I was like, ooh, what is this, girl? So this is Zara. I have not seen one on the market. There might be one. I don't see any missing charms. And if anybody's interested, she will be for 30 And look at this. Gorgeous. Oh my god. That is a statement piece. Zara is a British line. So it is made, um, well, I'm assuming it's over. I think everything's made in China, but she is from overseas. Let's measure her. And she does have the Zara. The Zara tag. I'm not just assuming she's Zara. See, right there. So she does have this extender. It looks like it's two inches. 
and she's going to come about mm, 9. So anywhere between 9 and 11, she is adjustable. But I think she's great. I think she's great. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. These were some spectacular pieces that I got. Um, I don't think I... Oh, I don't really... Mm, no, I didn't read... Okay, so this one didn't sell in the last um, lot. And this is Swarovski. It has its original tag. It has the little Swarovski um, tag right there. And it does have the swan right there. So she's 15. I think last video I said 20. I'll take 15 for her. She just, she's great. She's a star. She has a lot of fire. She's fantastic. Okay. So moving on. I have these big, these have a lot of weight. I didn't see a designer on them. These, these are fantastic. If anybody wants these earrings, these gold, um, they look kind of like hammered Cuban links. Um, they're 10. Let me see here. No, there's no uh, maker's mark. She was made very, very well and has no wear whatsoever. When I saw these big ones, I was like, oh, yes, please. I want those ones behind the case. So as you could see, you could see what they were asking for. They knew what they had to. There were some, some nice ones. So these are 10. Um, okay, I just dropped that. Um, okay. Put her right there. Okay. Um, oh, and one of my, uh, previous thread up, uh, lots, I got these gold tone bangles, but these are actually, they're, they're J crew. They come in the little, they come with the little, um, soft bag. It's not, um, let me see here. I'm pretty sure they're signed. I could have swore last time I seen a, a maker's mark on these. Okay. Well, these are J Crew. There's three of them. They have they they fill J Crew um, jewelry. I collect J Crew and it just feels really nice. But I collect um, more so their necklaces. These will be five. If anybody wants, these are five dollars. Okay. I have a few more earrings, and then we're all done. So look at this cute little owl. Look at this hooter. <laughs> if you guys uh, don't understand what I'm saying, watch my last video. And she is a pin, and I will sell her for eight. She is on enamel. Look at how pretty those eyes are. She feels like butter, and she has weight. There's no wear. She's great. So she's going to be for eight. Or he. Then I have these earrings, and if and these kind of remind me of like a Tiffany chandelier. These are obviously faux turquoise. All the stones appear to be there. And if anybody, these are beautiful. If anybody wants these, these are six. Then I have these other earrings, and these are little grapeys. Now, when they put these together, this actually doesn't belong here. They, I think this is Brighton. So I'm wondering if the other, okay, there we go. So these are grape little crystal earrings. They're for pierced, and these are uh, five. Very, very cute. And 
here we have some silver, these are clip-ons, some silver tone clip-ons. They kind of have like an infinity sign to the side. We have a teardrop, yeah, with an infinity. And these are six. And they have some good weight to them. These are really nice. Okay. Oh, I love these. Look at these clip-ons. Oh, my God. I don't think she signed. Okay. Okay, I don't think she signed. But look at this. Oh my god, isn't she cute? Look at the little danglies. And if anybody wants her, um, these will be for 10. Actually, I'll make her eight. I'll make her eight, eight dollars. Oh. And this is not, it doesn't feel, well, it feels in between, it feels too heavy to be plastic, but it's not glass, so I'm not too sure, but gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, and then we have two more pieces. So this one I liked because it it's like a collar. It looks, it's a gold tone. It's not that old, but it's a collar. And I think if how, depending on how tight you wear it, you can wear it like this, or you can wear it like this kind of. And this is, it does have an extender, but let me see how long. Let me see how long she is. She's about 10 inches. 10 inches and she could go tighter probably down to like maybe eight so let's see so I have her um, not on the tightest one but she's like this and then I think if I tighten her up she'll spread out She's cute. She's really cute. She will be, um, let's see here. Hmm. I could do seven. I'll do seven for her. And then I absolutely fell in love. Okay, what is going on here? I just touched something in it. Okay. I absolutely found love with these bangles. They have rhinestones. Look at the the velvet little strips in between. Um I've never seen anything like this. She's she's fantastic. She is fantastic. Look at that. I love these little velvet strips. And you're getting two of them. So, um, for me, because of its rarity, I don't know, maybe it's, I don't, I, I don't think they're modern. Just by the way, I could see the way they're made. I mean, if they are, then I apologize. I'm not an expert. I just go based off of, you know, what I know thus far. And um, she will be for, let me see here, what was the price tag on that? So I got her for $2.98, which I was surprised when I seen that price. I was like, mm. But if anybody wants these two pieces, um, I could do 15 I could do 15 and they will go on my eBay store for a lot, lot higher than that. She's just great. It's just like one of those pieces you come across and you're like, hmm, that's interesting. So, um, that's going to close this video up. I'm trying to see if I have anything else. I don't. Um, 
I think other stuff I need to um, fix or look into. But yeah, if you guys are interested, email me. I will put it my email in the title as well as the description. Soho California Vintage at gmail.com. If you guys are interested, like I said, screenshot or give me a, um, a timestamp. And then if you see this video a week from now, still email me. A lot of times pieces are still available. Don't hinder yourself from thinking, oh, it's probably sold. Cause, or maybe there's a couple pieces you like and one was sold but one wasn't, okay? So I appreciate everybody. You guys, we had just hit 1,400 subscribers. Yes, I am ecstatic. 1,400 that's amazing that is amazing and so oh, okay there goes a concert on by so um pretty soon I'm going to be doing a giveaway so stay tuned I'm going to do another giveaway I don't know what yet though but um I love every each and one of you you guys stay safe out there this is Soho California Vintage signing off